Hello friends, welcome to Truth of Fields. Uh, our uh, today's video have no definite or specific uh, title actually. Actually, in this video, I am discussing going to discuss uh, um, how the solution of this differential equation becomes this. Now you can ask me where from where I have uh, got this equation and what is the need to solve this equation, differential equation. So uh, for your knowledge, I want to say that this differential equation is a very important differential equation and uh, you will come across this differential equation in various fields of physics like uh, for example in electrostatics okay uh, while solving the laplace's equation in spherical polar coordinates this is number one and uh, again you will find this uh, you will come across this thing in hydrogen atom quantum mechanics hydrogen atom solving the hydrogen atom wave function you will come across this thing and there you have find or you will find that you will find in the books that uh, they have directly given this result that uh, this have the solution like this so in this today's video i am going to discuss how this have the solution of the form like this okay so this video is going to be very much important if we solve or if we simplify this thing then what happens this becomes r square this fixed derivative of this means r square d2r over dr square plus derivative of this and this fixed means 2r dr over dr right that will be equals to and if we take this in left hand side so this will be minus al into l plus 1 r that will be equals to 0 now you can easily see that this is this i have the form like this right this is like this the form like this where you can easily understand that this is this differential equation is a ordinary differential equation but with variable coefficients like right this co this coefficients are variable in our normal differential equation the coefficients are constant like 5 3 these type of things and uh, we know that the how to solve that equations like this like this thing and if you find two roots of this equation right then you can express the general solution to be like in this form but in our case as the variables are as the coefficients are variable right now we have to make an another process and what is the process the process is let x is equals to or here x is equivalent to r right here in this equation x is equivalent to r so r is equals to e to the power z and and d dash and another operator d operator not like this and another d operator will will be uh, r d capital r over dr equals to this which will be equals to d r over dz this will happen if you put this assumption then this will happen and similarly if we want to express r square d2r over dr square then what will be that that will be simply d dash into d dash minus 1 this will become this and that will be equals to d2r over dz square similarly if you want to find r cube d3r over dr cube then what happens d dash into d dash minus 1 into d dash minus 2 this will become this that will be become d3r over dz square this thing will happen now let us put these things in our equation number one then what happens putting this thing in one will get like this d dash in this place r square we can put this thing d dash into d dash minus 1 plus 2 into r dr over dr r dr over dr means d dash means 2 d dash minus l into l plus 1 r that will be equal to 0 so i can write like this right so what actually means this thing will become 0 that means uh, if we uh, simplify this this will become d dash square right uh plus d dash 
right minus l into l plus 1 this will become 0 so what will be the solution of this equation it is very simple the solution of this equation uh, will be d equals to minus b minus 1 plus minus root over b square minus means plus 4 ac 4 into a into l plus 1 divided by 2a means 2 now what is this thing this thing in the bracket this is 1 plus means uh, 4 l square or 2 l whole square plus 2 into 2 l plus 1 that means actually 2 l plus 1 it's a whole square it is nothing but this that means this becomes minus 1 plus minus 2 l plus 1 divided by 2 so taking the plus and negative sign respectively we can have the solutions like this if we take plus sign then it becomes uh, l right and if we take minus sign here this sign then it will become uh, minus in bracket l plus 1 so what will be the solution the solution means we have to oh this is d dash sorry this is the solution means this is now d dash d dash is nothing but equals to d r over d z remind this is z so the solution will be like r equals to uh, some constant c1 e to the power l into z right plus c2 e to the power minus l plus 1 into z this thing now remind that we have the condition for all the things r is equals to e to the power z right that means uh, what r is equals to e to the power z r is equals to e to the power z put this thing here then we will get uh, now e to the power l z right that means what e to the power z whole to the power l right we know this is the property of powers right when it have this thing have power l then these two things actually multiplied and give this result right so and e to the power z is nothing but r right r so r to the power l so put this c1 r to the power l right plus similarly c2 r to the power minus l plus 1 equals to r that means actually r is becoming the solution is becoming c1 e uh, sorry c1 r to the power l plus c2 1 by r to the power l plus 1 now just match this result with the this is the answer right this is the solution now just match this with this one right this is same this is the same thing we have got so this is the process how can you solve this type of differential equation where you have the variable right the constants are the variables right coefficients are variable so i hope that this video is very much helpful share this video with your friends and to get the notifications of my upcoming videos on various conceptual classes of physics subscribe this channel so take care of yourself thanks for watching